Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 and Windows 11 version 21H2 have already received their optional bug fix C release updates for this month, September 2022, which I have already posted on. And now it's uh, Windows 11 version 22H2's turn, which was the feature update, as many of you will know, that rolled out earlier this week on the 20th. And um, the optional bug fix C release update for version 22H2 has now been rolled out to the release preview channel insiders, where Microsoft will finalize the testing of that bug fix C release update before they um, roll it out to the general public. And we can expect that to be any day now, and that will roll out over the next couple of days before the end of the month. Now, uh, if we just head to uh, the release notes uh, for the release preview channel, and that's um, f uh, rolled out to the release preview channel on the 22nd, which was yesterday in my region, and that's um, update KB5017389. So that's the next bug fix C release update that we will get now. And the first bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2 that will roll out shortly. And um, if we just head to the search and we just enter WinVer, um, the latest version now of Windows 11 is version 22H2. And the OS build is currently on 2261.521. So when this next update does roll out, the OS build for version 22H2 will, will be bumped up to 2261.607. Now, just to go through a couple of uh, these bug fixes, uh, if you are interested, what we can expect to see roll out when the optional update does become available. And it's very similar to both Windows 10 and 11. If it's at the base and core, um, all those operating systems are, very, are basically the same and very similar. Now, yeah, they fixed an issue that stops you from signing into various Microsoft Office 365 apps. Once again, the same with Windows 10 and 11. They've updated the start date for daylight saving time in Chile, which was a known issue. Uh, they fixed an issue that affects a network's static IP. That's the IP address. Uh, the issue causes the configuration of the static IP to be inconsistent. Uh, they fixed an issue that affects the task manager. It stops uh, working when you switch between light and dark mode or change the accent color. And um, as many of you may know by now, the task manager in version 22H2 supports a dark and light mode and also has accent color, the accent color from the operating system in certain aspects of the task manager. Um, so that's been addressed. And then they fixed an issue that affects uh, graphics drivers that use D3D9 ON12.dll, so that graphics driver issue has been addressed. And then there are three bug fixes for Internet Explorer mode, which have more or less rolled out um, for both Windows 10, 21H2, and now 22H2 for Windows 11. Uh, they fixed an issue that affects the Microsoft Japanese Input Method Editor, IME. And here's another known issue for that was made available for both Windows 10 and 11. That's been addressed now. Fixed an issue that affects XML paper specification, XPS viewers. That's been addressed. And the last one, which also rolled out for version 21H2, they've added more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar with notification badging. So when you uh, get a notification now for the widgets, um, yeah, you'll see a banner appear here at the top, basically telling you what triggered the notification, and that also rolled out for version 21H2. So that's more or less, I would say, some of the highlights that we can expect to see rolled out uh, in KB5017389 for Windows 11 version 22H2 um, over the next couple of days, and that should be quite soon. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.